Hold on, my dog's barking. Your dog's training you to take her out. Yeah, he talked mad game about training his dog, and now the dog yeah, trained him. Like workers outside of my apartment all day. There was like a ladder on leading up to my balcony, and yeah. it was yeah. after like three hours today. I had the same shit, Chris. There was a today during work. I looked behind me, and there was a fucking guy on my balcony. And then yeah. I was yeah. They they just get on my balcony without telling me. Um, they replaced like this wooden panel. Um, but it was like this thing that had a hook that I had my, uh, hummingbird feeder on. Well, they didn't put the hook back in. So now my hummingbird feed, they just set it on the ground and left it there. And I was like, well, that was rude. I love yeah, Chris. My... I'm like, I love that you have a, a, like a hummingbird feeder. Well, yeah, I want hummingbirds. It also brings wasps. <laughs> Unfortunately. All right. Um, so I can't remember the exact point that we left off did somebody be we were at mj's manor and dazzle went to bed the ladies went to drink wine and the dudes went to talk like men <laughs> okay but we had already had conversation yeah, yeah we're done with in this case so i thought I, I think everyone was headed to bed i believe yeah. so i believe so i believe so. unless there was unless somebody else thought otherwise or wanted to do something otherwise I don't think so. Okay. Um, I'm not a paladin, so I will not be robbing this place. <laughs> Please don't rob. I mean, do what you want, but throwback to the the OG sessions. <laughs> murder hobos. <laughs> Everybody doing their first D and D run as a murder hobo. Let's be real. Okay. All right. Um, so you guys uh, spend the night. Um, and then in the morning, uh, how, how soft are the pillows in this place? <laughs> okay. They're goose feather pillows. Oh my, so she's rich rich. I don't know if that means that they're soft or not. I just know that that's fancy. Not swan feather? There's no nope. goose feathers. The swans don't exist in this fantasy. We're staying in the rich Carlton of the fantasy world. <laughs> All right, um, next morning you guys awake to um, the smell of blueberry pancakes. Oh! Ooh. Already a fan. Um, Why would we ever leave this place? Can we work for Lexi Salmon? Yeah. No. <laughs> um, those positions are already filled. <laughs> Um, so you guys can make your way to, uh, or, you know, get ready for the day. You guys will be leaving. It's around probably 6.30 in the morning. Um, it's just kind of like the sun is rising, so everybody gets up. Um, you guys can make your way down to the dining area, or I guess. Hmm. No, you can make your way to, like, the kitchen. So in the kitchen, there is, like, a breakfast nook. That has like a table that seats eight. It's not like the huge like formal dining room table. You know what I mean? A giant nook. What? That's a giant nook. Yeah, I mean it's it's like a manor. Yeah, it's all nooks pissed. Yeah. Um, it's like a large breakfast nook with like this huge bay window. Um, that you can see out uh, onto the lawn. Um. Guys, well, I'm going to spend the rest of the adventure here, so if you guys <laughs> want to just continue on, feel free. It's, this is, like, so think of, like, that friend in high school or, like, that person you're in high school who, like, you didn't know was rich, and then you, like, go to their house, and they're like, oh, well, we're not that rich. We only have eight bedrooms. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's MJ's you know, family. Like, yeah. Oh, well, they're, they're noble. Right. Clear. <laughs> Do what? But we're all referring to Fran, right? <laughs> oh. Greco Roman like columns out in the front. Yeah, Fran <laughs> Fran was stupid rich. <laughs> Which by the way, that's real. That's what her freaking grandparents had in the front of their house. Like Roman. We were talking about like, this weekend, she was like, There's nine of us standing there, but there's a room and a bathroom for everyone. It's only <laughs> yeah. six, it's only six bedrooms and six bathrooms. Holy shit. Only. Yeah. Only. 
Well, even her, like, uh, her older brother had a room there, even though he didn't live there. <laughs> Everyone just has their own room. It's hilarious. Um, okay, anyway. Uh, so you guys, there's blueberry pancakes, there's bacon, there's porridge, Bur- juices, water, coffee. Um, you guys can load up. Are like, no faces or no? What? We're just listening today. No faces. Oh. Yeah, no faces. I don't want to put. Patrick, you can you can show your face. Yeah, if you want to, we can I stare at you. How many pancakes I eat? <laughs> sure. If yeah, you like make to. a constitution contest with the pancakes. <laughs> no, just roll a, a d20. Oh, we only have a single face. Oh, that nat <laughs> one. You eat one pancake, and then your tummy starts hurting. Oh, oh my god, too much sweetness, berries. No, you actually, uh, you have a gluten intolerance. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you rolled so badly, you got a gluten intolerance. Yeah. You, you, rolled, you rolled so poorly, you developed a gluten intolerance, Gabe. Oh, that's rough, Gabe. Not 20. I hope you guys know I treat this like most Americans, and I just continue to eat gluten. Oh, yes. We're not rolling. They, no, literally, they were rolling for pancakes. For pancakes. Um, for pancakes. How many pancakes? I need more pancakes than that. Went very poorly. Oh. You guys. All right, so um, oh, did you forget to add your pancake modifier? Actually, yeah, actually, you have a negative to to your pancake modifier. Oh no! no. But matter. you do have you have a you have a positive three to your bacon modifier though. Ooh. Um. All right, so you guys kind of finish up your breakfast. Um. Oh, you shit. bid goodbye uh, to Lexi's family. Uh, Lexi, you maybe spend a few quiet moments um, with your mother. Can I say that collect all of my like secret stash of herbs? <laughs> oh rest. my god! <laughs> well, I don't. Uh, I told you that you have a guy out in the city, um, and so maybe you wanted to do that this uh, yeah, morning can I go before you guys. Then? Yes. Um, so now you guys uh, have packed up, and you guys can go to. You're gonna find just about any basic. This is a large city, so you can find just about any basic shop that you want to go to. If you guys want to go to a shop, um, and Lexi, you can go see your dealer. Mm. Yeah, we can go to our dealer, bro. Give me to your dealer. All right. Uh, I guess Lexi, I want you to roll. A D6, and that's going to determine how, yeah, many, well, how much how many grams that to kush you got. Oh yeah, my how gosh. many grams he has to sell. Okay. Is this a 1D6? If you roll yeah. a not one, you'll be upset. Mm-hmm. Plus yeah. your dink modifier. Oh. All right, yeah. and you can buy up to five grams from him. That's not very much. It's not very much, but it's hard to get it in the city. Okay. 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 So I'll, I'm gonna buy the five grams. How much does it cost? Three hundred thousand gold. <laughs> I legitimately don't know how much it costs in the real world. So this is an important decision. You're setting the price of marijuana. I'm setting an entire like economic <laughs> yeah, industry. Um, how many grams are there in an ounce? Oh my god. 32. She's doing the math. That's 32. It's 28. Usually it's 10 a gram. It's about 210 for an ounce of weed. $200 for an ounce of weed. It's like $10 for a gram. No. <laughs> What's a, what page was the freaking shop stuff on in the handbook? Wait, what, I'm. Yeah, I'd like to see what price they put on marijuana in the handbook. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's definitely not in the handbook. Do you normally buy in ounces or in grams? I don't understand. Uh, well, just buy an ounce for like. <laughs> I can't hear you. What? I said an ounce lasts me like a month. Oh my gosh. Okay, so then if ounce you have five lot, grams, that'll last like grams in an ounce, Chris. You're right. Um, so five grams will last you like a week then. Yeah. Sure. So basically, what Lexi just said was she spent twenty four hundred dollars a year just on weed. 
Uh, we'll, say it's a, we'll say that it's a silver piece per gram. Okay. So five silver pieces for five okay. grams. Oh. I'm so happy that we're like taking the time to set this economic yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like a huge like character like decision for <laughs> Lexi's character, so I think it's an important decision to make. Yeah. I do. We are, do you make notes of Chris? Do I need to remember that? Um, well, that's going to be this dealer. You know, other dealers could sell for whatever they want. So it's not yeah. like, yeah. it's not, it's not, like, a, not regulated. It's not regulated, exactly. What is it? What page right, so. is the freaking shop stuff on? Haley, I believe oh, it's on like 146 or 147. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. On the 146, internet. 47, 48, somewhere around there. Thanks. All right. Does anybody else want to do something? I know Haley, you're looking at the shops, but anybody else um, have something that they want to go buy or? What can you? It's in? only going to be you. You guys are in um, Sarah Douche. Sarah Douche. Sarah Douche. And um, the travel to. So, like, you guys can actually see. So the mountains are literally right up behind the city they're literally posted it up right there like it's you can see the base of the mountains from where you are in the city or like if you were to go to the edge of the city you would be able to see the base of the mountains like they're this city is just outside of the mountains on the outskirts of the mountains so it's not very far um to get to where you guys are ultimately headed from here less than a day so what you're saying is we don't need to we don't need to sweat it and hurry there. What I'm saying is the majority of your travel's already been done. This is just like the last little bit. We're in the last leg. Yeah. We just have to go to the mountain, right? Yeah, it's right there. It's just over yonder. <laughs> right. As Brady says, we do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we don't do that. Uh, well, I was I was waiting to see if anybody was looking at a shop. Haley was looking. I'm just looking. Yeah, looking a second. Yeah, I was losing the good. A little razzle dazzle. Losing. I told you the wrong numbers, back. Haley. It's on like 140. Wait, what? It's on oh, like. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. You got me in the general area. <laughs> <laughs> the vicinity. We have a lot of gold now. Where do I see how much I have again? On your On character your sheet. Character sheet if you go to equipment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you should have a fuck ton of gold, Haley. You have 47 <laughs> gold, 10 silver, and 6 copper. 47 gold. Um. Okay, so what's our next plan of action before I make a decision? Going into the mine. Yeah, well, we're gonna go do the big. Yeah, we're supposed to go figure out who's been we're tossing all the bad. I know this guy gave me a ring, and we're supposed to take it like through the mines of Moria, like that. Mines. Uh, we're going to the Amlerindin Mountains. Is you're headed to a spot on your map that's in the Amlerindin Mountain Range, which is these mountains that you see next to the city. Are we done with our... We're not on mules anymore, are we? Or donkeys or whatever. The, you were on horses. We were on horses. We, we don't have those anymore. I would imagine that you wouldn't want to take the horses at this point. You yeah. would probably leave them um, here only because you won't be able to take them inside of the mountain. Yeah, like, each horse got their own room at Fran's house. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You're probably at the stables on the property. Okie dokie. Well, so, like, we'll be there when you get back. Yeah. I mean, if you want to try to get back. Ha 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 ha. If you get back. If. It's the Omlarindan, <laughs> not the Omnamlimlil, whatever you say. Onomatopoeia? Onomatopoeia Mountain. Omnivore. Well, okay. he didn't say om no no om 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 no
I would like to say that I was looking at buying a donkey, but we're not going to do that. You don't need one. Anyway, moving on. I'm done. Okay, so are you guys ready to just head out then? Oh, sure. Well, I'll buy, buy something. Well, I need to know soon. Oh, so we left people. Ignore yeah, it. Gabe and I are just having a great time, like on our own over here. I'm <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, if you're good, then you guys can go ahead and head out of the city toward the mountain range. In fact, um, that's what you do. We do that. <laughs> Insert um, exposition that makes sense. Exactly. Oh, he's sleepy. Sleepy. Oh. See, this is so much better than looking at Patrick. True. All right, so um, it's it's like half a day's journey to um, the spot on the map, um, which who has the map? Patrick does. All right, then I guess you're in the lead. Um, I'm in the lead. Patrick, then you. Um, what? Halt is in the lead. Halt is in the lead. Hell yeah! And you guys make it to. Um, so you guys are on this kind of dirt path, uh, and about an hour out, you... Do you make a procession chart? No. You, uh, <laughs> you don't need to make one right now. No. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, he said, do I need to? And I said, no, you don't need oh. to. Oh. Um, I thought you just told him to sure now, too. Yeah, you're not allowed. <laughs> um, you, uh, position, Patrick. Okay, anyway, <laughs> you uh, head off into this, like, less of a path path. It's not even a dirt path anymore. It's like a whisper of a path. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you make it to uh, one of the sides of the mountains, and uh, you see uh, a cave that looks to be man-made, um, and you can actually see tracks just on the edge of it. And this like, is where the map ends. Like people said, tracks or like... You said it looked like, man-made? Like minecart tracks. Hell yeah. This, is not, this looks like maybe the cult's hideout, in my opinion. The cult's hideout. Do we know that it's a cult? Did we? Was that canon, or did we make that up? I have yeah. never said anything about a cult. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> not on my good Christian Minecraft server. So a man, it's a man-made cave with tracks. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Okay. Uh, can I... Are there any lookouts or anything on the outside of the cave? Uh, make a perception check. No, I'll make my damn perception check. <laughs> you well, see everything I just explained, but okay. better. <laughs> what? 19. Oh. Haley, I can't hear you. What did you say? Are there, are there any lights in this cave? Lights. Nay. Not, but you can't really see too far into the cave because you guys are still outside of it. Um, Patrick, you don't see anybody in, around this mouth of the cave. Let's go in. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I, would. Walking, and I look and to see if there's like if I can see like recent footprints or like to tell if anyone's been through here recently. Um, go ahead and make an investigation check then. And then can uh, does anybody here have dark vision? I yes, I do. I do. No. Yes, I do. Pretty sure half more vision. Okay, with the twelve, you don't notice any um, disturbances like in the in the dirt or or anything like that. Yeah. Um, who has dark vision? I think Adri does. Yes. Music does. I do. Fuck you okay. guys. <laughs> Those of you who have dark vision, you see that there are like um like torch holders mm -hmm. on the sides of the cave, but there's no torches in these like holders. You know, I don't know what those are called. Sconces. Sconce. No, it's, is it a sconce? I thought a sconce was like the thing that held candles. Oh a sconce was a I don't know. No torches. I think it's a torch holder too. It's the same. Oh, it, it can be either. You're right. Okay, so there's sconces then. Um, so you 
but there are no actual torches in these scones. Like, the torches are gone. Can I, um... Do I have the option of wild shaping into something that does have night vision? Mm. Yes. Like a cat? A kitty cat. You could do a cat, yeah. Or anything that's... What is it? I think... What's the... CR? Like thing? small or medium or something. And you can fly around if you were a bat and investigate everything. What? I said you should be a bat. Be a bat. Fly around and Not a bad idea. Is that allowed, Christopher? Yeah, allowed. Is that allowed? If you've seen a bat before, then yes, you can Have do I it. Have seen a bat before? I'm gonna give. I'm gonna let you decide. <laughs> um, what? You've seen a bat before. Where do? What do I pull up again? Is it the beast? Uh, you had a, like a spreadsheet, didn't you? Like you pulled up a spreadsheet. Yeah, but it was like on some website. Uh, here we go. I was gonna say if you can find that again, that's easier. I don't. There's not an actual lit like a list or anything. It's just, it's just any creature that you have beast, right? It has to be a beast, I think. So who is who is helpless? Moash and MJ are helpless in the dark. Yeah. Okay. Fancy. We lost Gabe. Okay, wait, no, so I have to do we lost, we lost Patrick. There he is. I can do the half ones, right? Or do you say a quarter? Uh, sorry. I'm, sorry. I think so, I'm looking, sorry. You can do a quarter, no. and it can't be flying. It can't have flying or swimming speed. So I cannot be a bat. Um, right. I can be a cat. You can be a cat. Or... I'm looking at what's on here. I could be yeah. a bee. You'll probably want something that has dark vision. Um. Oh no, that flies. I would like to become a hyena. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh hell yeah! What do I have to? Oh, I just cast a spell, right? Or no? No spell, oh, I just use it. Spell. I just use my wild shape. Yeah, I will say though, uh, a hyena does not have dark vision, so you still can't see in the dark. What how kind of logic? <laughs> um, how do I, where do I, where'd you find that? I just pulled up, I just typed in hyena dungeons and dragons and it gave me a stat block for it. Oh, um, okay, well, <laughs> you apparently have this figured out more than I do. Well, I, I can just look it up if you tell me what it is that you want to turn into. Let's see. What about a giant weasel? <laughs> Does those have my vision? I don't think they do. What the? Yeah, they do have my vision. Yeah. I want to be a giant weasel. A weasel. Okay, you can be a giant weasel. Alright, so I go up in my little smoke cloud, and then the next thing you know, I'm a weasel. A giant weasel at that. Not a a giant weasel. one. So not only am I a giant dragon, I just turned into a giant weasel. <laughs> but I think a giant weasel is actually smaller than you. Well, I mean, yeah, but it's still giant. Okay. Um, me. So now you're a giant weasel. Um, those of you who don't have dark vision, do you have some uh, idea of what you're going to do to be able to see? Or are you going to hold on to somebody who does have dark Yeah, are you going to hold my hand? I have a torch. I'm going to grab on to someone. Okay, well, if Moash has a torch, then that will light 20 feet of bright light and then 20 more feet of dim light, so you should be able to see. Man, I would have thought Moash would have held my hand after all our escapades. <laughs> I think he's a little more practical. <laughs> I was like, Moash would like to see. <laughs> yeah. We lost Patrick again. Help your poor brother. You're cool, like, being blind doesn't help. <laughs> Patrick, what keeps happening to you? I just went. I was in there for my laptop to my phone. Then back to my laptop. Okay. All right. So, are you guys going to go into the cave? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can I get a marching order? Oh, yeah, there's uh, a torch the back, torch door. Yeah, I'm definitely towards the back with my torch. You've got the torch oh. and you're toward the back? 
Yeah, well, everyone else can see. I guess I'm towards <laughs> the middle because I'm like scampering. Uh, I guess put me towards the middle then, Chris, since I can actually see with dark vision. Okay. I want to be in front of the torch. I want to be behind the torch. I'd so Halt be. is in front. I guess I'm right next to Halt then. Halt is in front, and then Moash is in back, and then everyone else is in between. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. All right. So you guys go ahead and start to walk through this. Um, what seems to be an abandoned mine, right? So you follow the tracks. Um, to eventually, you get to uh, a, a three-pronged fork in the path. Oh hell yeah! The tracks go toward the t through the middle path, and to the path that's to your left. The path on your right, um, there is no tracks that go that way. So there are tracks uh, down the middle and to our our right. Is that what you said? Left. Oh, to our your left. left. Um, so, so, like, so like the tracks branch off to both the path that so like it continues to go straight and then it also branches off to the left. There is another pathway to the right though. There's just no tracks that go that way. Never yeah, in my can life. Can I use a perception check? Uh, you want to check for tracks on the left side, and I, I'll check for tracks on the right. We know there's Anyone tracks. Here? Oh, like full tracks. Oh, yeah, for, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll do a perception check on the one on the right. Wait. Or investigation, I guess, probably would be. Look, see um, Dazzle, Dazzle or Haley, you said you wanted to do a perception check. Are you trying to hear something? Yeah, I was going to say, can I see if I can hear something? Um, Sure. Why did you say, why'd you say sure like that? Oh, I'm, I'm looking, trying to see what the giant, because you have the stats of the weasel now. So yeah. I'm trying to see what, I have, uh, if he had any bonus or anything like that. Yeah, and I you do. do. I do. I yeah. do. So go ahead and roll with advantage, because what you're trying I? to use your hearing and your smell. What am I rolling? A d20. So your d20, and then you would add uh, plus was, three what? to it. Uh, so she has to roll it twice. You roll it twice and you take the better number. Yes. Wait, I roll twice? Mm hmm Yeah, you'll roll it twice and you take the better number. Why am I rolling twice? Because you have advantage. Oh. Because you have keen hearing and smell. Thirteen. So the sixteen is higher. Um, you actually... Um, don't smell anything that would smell like, I guess, uh, you smell like the dirt, you smell like the metal from the track, you smell like rotting wood from the tracks, um, you don't catch a scent of anything that would be like humanoid, um, you do smell a kind of earthy smell with a tinge of like, rotting meat and uh you hear a faint scuttling coming from the path on the right uh, the one that didn't have tracks the one that did not have tracks Ooh. with the right lead so us weasel lay all that information to you guys how are you gonna do that correct so I'm going to run over to, like, the little, the right path and just stare back at everyone. <laughs> and wait until they decide to start walking this way. I trust her. Hey, uh, should we have someone really sneaky go out ahead of us? Like the weasel. Because <laughs> I, right. I have disadvantage to stealth, so. I have plus five. I'm super stealthy as well. I would probably like I would probably follow the weasel and like be sneaking, because I can go in the dark. Well, it was weasel, then Audrey, uh, then Demaya, and then Audrey. Audrey. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so Haley, Dazzle, and then Demaya, you are both gonna try to sneak, sneak through ahead. this. Um. This cavern yeah or the um, path yes okay so both of you go ahead and roll stealth checks for me okay so a, d20? a d20 and then Haley, you would add a plus five 
Plus five. But you only roll once. Oh shit! <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, okay. sick. <laughs> so, Haley rolled that one, thing, and no, nobody rolled in that one. Might as and well have been. <laughs> AJ rolled a six. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, so, you guys are making your way through this path. You go, I don't know. I'm just stomping like my feet. Yards. Um. And it makes a sharp bend to the left. And um, at that bend, you can actually see a glowing. Mm. Um, and as you see that glowing, Demaya, who I guess was distracted by that, <laughs> um, she does like a short, she doesn't trip and fall, but she does like, she, her foot catches onto a rock. And it kind of, you know, you, like, kick the rock a little bit down the... Oh, no. Um, no like, not, like, a huge fumble, really, like, a small one, but it kind of echoes a bit because it's... It, you're kind of in this little cave. And um, there was scuttling that you hear just beyond this bend, and it all stops for a second. What do you do? Um, I would like to say I look... I look at Demaya with my little weasel beady eyes. <laughs> it's, it's, then, uh, the disappointment is clear. I, I'm frozen. What did you say, Adri? I said the disappointment is clear in her little weasel eyes. <laughs> okay, but what do you do? I'm frozen. Yeah, Adri, what do you do? I think, I mean, if I, wait, can I, can I hear that stuff? Like, would I even know? It was close enough to where you could hear it. Okay, so I could hear everything stop. So then I probably would yeah. stop, like freeze as well. And like, I'm probably just going to wait and see if I start hearing them come to look or if they're just going to like pass it off. Okay, then let me make a secret dice roll. <laughs> secret dice roll that I tell you what's happening. Yes, um, but you don't know what the dice roll is. That's the secret part. Um, so... For a couple seconds, there's just a, like a pregnant pause, and then you start to hear the scuttling again. Pregnant oh, pause. Sweet. But it doesn't seem to be getting any louder. You think that maybe they heard, thought they heard something, whatever it is, and then you guys were quiet enough. Perfect. That they uh, it didn't decide to investigate whatever it is. Okay. Right. We, we continue on. Time to try again. Do we want to roll again? Is <laughs> Um, Chris, during yeah. all this, are, are, like, I think I'd be like following them, not super close, but like pretty, like, are the, where, where are we, the rest of the party? I assumed you guys were waiting back at the forked path. Oh, okay. Then yeah, sure, we can wait back there. Uh, I am with, because I have that torch, I don't want to like forecast where we are. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I mean, if you guys are sure. going to continue on, I would like you both to roll another stealth check. Another one. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Um, that's okay. Give me just one second. Sorry. <laughs> now it's gonna be Haley that trips and falls. Her little weasel, her beady little weasel eyes. <laughs> I'm only small, so I can't be that big of a thud. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just a little scuffle. All right. Um. So you guys, uh, round this bend in the path, and you are, you kind of get to the bend and then peer beyond yeah um and you see a, a small cavern that's uh lit pretty brightly because what's lighting the cavern are six giant beetles that are glowing ew. Ew. red and they seem to be eating something ew Gross. on the walls on the ground oh okay <laughs> i was like oh <laughs> The beetles are about the size of a medium-sized dog. Beetle oh beetle. my gosh! So, um, are the beetles like as big as I am? How big is a giant weasel? Oh, uh. I have no idea. It says it's medium-sized, which is the same size as a humanoid creature. So oh I'm going to assume that the ferret comes up to like your That's waist. Just... Holy crap! Not the ferret, the weasel. Weasels and ferrets are almost the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the the weasel is like you're probably the size of. 
Like, it probably comes up to a person's waist, so, like... I'm basically coming up to Demaya's waist. Yeah. Like a great thing. Yeah, very large. It's a giant weasel. Okay, so these giant beetles, dog-sized beetles... Are eating yeah. something. They're eating something. Interesting. Um, what the heck? Um, would it be, like... Oh, I guess maybe you could smell it this close. Like maybe you could smell what they're eating. I don't know how yeah. how what hey, smell that works. Rotting, nasty flesh smell you were smelling is much more pungent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Well. Um. We... I'm just gonna. I, yeah, I don't know what to do about glowing beetles. I <laughs> think I just leave them to their work <laughs> and go back. They're eating like a person. Or something. Is, does the uh, does like the pathway keep going past this? If go ahead and roll a perception, perception. check. Oh, okay. What's think... my perception of the weasel? <laughs> Three. But because you're using your sight, you're gonna um, not have advantage. No, that's sufficient. Um. What you see is uh, this small little cavern, and it seems to be closed off. Like, there are no other branching paths out from this cavern. It seems to be kind of a dead end. Hmm. I mean, I'm farm so, for some extra. Uh, yeah, it's far. Beady weasel eyes, I look up at the Maya. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to, like, make a little pointing gesture to go back and start, like, slowly making our way back. Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> All right, um, you guys can keep that last stealth check that you Oh, I really thought you were going to make us test it, and we are going to have to run yeah. from beetles. I'm not going to make you roll seven stealth checks in <laughs> one counter. Uh, you guys can go ahead and make it your way back, um, okay. and you make it back to the party. Yeah, and I'm going to tell the party that there are some giant dog-sized glowing red beetles eating something. <laughs> yum. Yum, yum. Uh, that's my reaction. Do we really need to mess with them, or can we just go another way? What? I didn't catch that. You cut out. Good, I'm with help. <laughs> we can all like go through each way, at least like the same amount of distance shall we on that one? Just to see. Do what? I think, I think we should leave them alone for now, because I, I really don't want... Anyone, if there's anything else in this, these like this tunnel system, I don't want them to hear us fighting the beetle. Good Lose point. that all. Yeah. Good right. point. Good point. The voice of reason. Okay. I mean, do we we could uh, do a well? Now we've got two paths left. I, I, Verzix got a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent stealth, honestly. So I could go scout out a ton. We could kind of split. I know splitting. Oh, the split the time. party. <laughs> Split up and count the scout the last two. Uh, down for that. Yeah, so just, sports, so just you know, know if scream really if you get into trouble. I have a disadvantage of still, so I'm just going to stay right here. Yeah, so like uh, like me and somebody could go another way and then, uh, you know, the weasel and Demaya could go down the middle path or whatever. Okay. Yeah. So, so Gabe, how, how are you on, uh, Gabe or Lexi, how are you two on? Oh, Lexi is definitely not going to be stealthy. I'm decently stealthy, but I can't see. All right. Okay. Good. I'll, I'll, how about we? Uh, how? What's uh? What's the weasel's uh, ground speed, Chris? Thirty feet. Forty feet. Oh, I'm looking so at. If we were to send somebody by themselves, it might be the weasel. The I mean, weasel, how, weasel she won't die immediately. She'll just transform yeah, back. That's true. Yeah, you disengage. What, uh, oh, how much time has passed, Chris, since I've turned into a weasel? Uh, probably, like, 15 minutes. Okay, I'm good. Kyle, All right. Chris, uh, okay, yeah, do we want to just do that? Me and Demaya go off on the left path and weasel. Weasel uh, can take the mid. Weasel takes mid. All right, let's go check it out. <laughs> do it. Okay. Have fun, guys. <laughs> Scream if you need any help. Yeah, <laughs> Do you want us Reason. to roll one more stealth check, Chris? Okay, hold on. Okay. Who's going which way? 
uh, Verzik and I are going to the left, and yes. Weasel's going mid. <laughs> okay, then I will have, uh, hey, uh, I almost said Hazel. Dazzle, <laughs> go first. I, um, so Weasel is as Weasel does. <laughs> I'm running down the, the middle path. Um, do I have to roll a stealth? Only if you want to go stealthily. I would like to go stealthily. The choice is yours, Haley. I would like to go stealthily. Then you can go ahead and roll a stealth check. Uh, da, 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 da. Wow. Oh, no. Keep in great. Well, anyway. I did. Like what did you, a nine? Okay, uh, you can kind of hear yourself like pittering and pattering down this um, pathway, but you only make it about 100 feet, and you actually get to a point where um, the trail kind of abruptly stops because in, uh, in front of you is a very large pit. What, what looks to have happened is that the path had collapsed, um, so you can see like debris down under you about 20 feet down. Um, and the, uh, and then on the other side across it's, it's like a 25 foot to, to the rest of the path. Oh damn. So it's like massive. It was like a pretty large collapse. Very hard to get across is what you're trying to say. Okay. Well, I don't, I can't physically get across it, right? Oh, you can't turn into a bat, damn. So, um, no, you wouldn't be able to, like, jump across or anything like that. Okay. So, at this point, I'm useless. So, I turn around and go back. Okay. Um, I will jump to the, <coughs> was it Verzik and the Maya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, can you guys roll your, are you guys trying to be stealthy? Yes. Yes, for sure. Shit. <laughs> None of us are doing stealth checks worth of shit. Well, I'll just take your stealth check, Demaya, because you're only yeah. at your least stealthy. Yeah, yeah I can't do worse than that, though. So. And even if you did, it wouldn't make much of a difference, I guess. Um, Alright, so you guys actually go down this path, and it goes for Demaya um, about twice as long as that first path you did. Great. Um, and, um, you actually make it into, uh, a part where the tracks kind of end and it's replaced with kind of a stone pathway or like stone steps, um, that seem to be even older than the rest of the cave, if that Hell makes yeah, sense. Hell yeah, this is where we want to be. Um, and it makes that transition kind of, um, slowly. And then you guys make your way into, again, a much larger cavern. But upon further inspection, it's not even a cavern. It's more of a room. The walls are lined with stone, like tiles. Um, there's a ceiling. But as you look in this room, it's maybe 20 feet by 15 feet. Um, there's nothing in here. You see... Actually, you kind of see like you see like a pickaxe maybe to the side, um, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, that's. And we can't make like a investigation or a. We can like. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I'll do a. We're just not stealthy about pack. it. I'm looking for like. I'll with my investigation. I'm kind of looking for like. I have a suspicion that maybe this room is like a false. You know, like, I basically look around for, like, something that I could, like, push on, like a pressure plate or something. Okay, go ahead and roll that investigation check for me. While he does that, since I was already super loud, I'm just going to whistle for the rest of the group. Like, just let out a whistle and, like, hopefully they'll understand what that means. <laughs> I think we're getting attacked. No. I mean, even so, hope they'll come running, right? <laughs> I would assume, like, she would yell if you guys were getting attacked. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think. It's like 
200 yards. Oh, it was you far? That... You think it was really far? I didn't realize it was that far. So do you think that sound would travel that far? I don't know. I don't know. In a cave, it would echo, right? Yeah, echo. And the weasel has yeah. super hearing. Oh. True. True. Um, we'll just like on 13. Okay. Is it uh, we'll... I stuck in the well? <laughs> we can just say that I was the only one that heard it, but then I start running. Okay. Sure. Do you guys it. start heading that way? Yeah. If I see the, the giant weasel take <laughs> off to the left path, then I'm going to follow it. <laughs> okay. Um, Andrew, you, um, you're, you're, what are you looking for specifically again? I said specifically that I was looking for like, maybe like a pressure plate on the wall. So I'm like feeling along the walls. I'm looking for something that's off because it seems really weird that this would end. Like what the map has led us here. So I'm trying to, I'm I'm just seeing if this is uh, like a dead end for real, or if maybe there's like a, something along the walls, a brain along the walls, a handhold, something I can grab onto or like a... Okay, you don't, you're feeling along the walls, and um, you don't really feel um, anything. Like, there's a lot of different little crevices that you think, okay, maybe there's uh-huh. something here, and, like, you feel like you're on the right track, but you don't see anything. Um, and then while you're still searching, uh, the rest of the party, you guys enter the room, and you guys can let me know what you guys do. Awesome. Hey, can I... When we get to the room, I want to cast my detect magic spell. Good call. Okay. Um, um, are you going to cast it as a as a spell slot, or are you going to spend ten minutes to cast it as a ritual? Which oh wait, spell, I think because if you spend ten minutes casting it as a spell as a ritual, you don't use a spell slot. Uh, what does everyone else think? Do we have time for me to cast a ten minutes? We're I mean, not in a rush. Time. Yeah, I say go for it. Uh, since we've entered the cave, probably like that's probably now been twenty-five minutes. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah, then I'm gonna. Because we'll keep cast like magic. The rest of us can continue to look around. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna do it as a ritual. Does that entail? Like a roll or anything? No, it's just a spell that you do. You do that. Yeah, you yeah. do it. Go ahead. Start singing as you say While you're doing that, because it takes 10 minutes to cast as a ritual, mm-hmm. um, I assume you probably pulled out like something to like draw on the floor, and you're probably like chanting or something. Um, what do the rest of you guys want to be doing? Um... I'll, I'll, I'll call out and say... Just, uh, I'll tell the group, like, to, I'll ask them to help me search around for anything that seems out of, an or- out of the ordinary. You said there was a pickaxe in this room, right, Chris? Yeah, it's covered in cobwebs and is very rusty. Uh, I want to investigate near, like, the ground level, and I want to see if I can tell if this was, like, used for storage, or I'm looking for, like, if there's thing in like dust that's been disturbed recently or anything like that like scrapes on the stone okay um roll an investigation that's another 13 exact same roll <laughs> um you don't you, it's the floor seems to be dusty it doesn't seem as if anybody's been here um yeah. there's still cobwebs kind of like in the corners of the room um the pickaxe you pick it up and um Literally, you think that the top is going to come off. It's so, like, old and dilapidated. Okay. Do you know what passive perception 13 means? That just means that um, you have a passive perception of 13, meaning um, if someone were try to be going to try to be sneaky up against you and uh, you weren't dis- distracted, then you would... It's kind of like having an, a roll of a perception check of a 13 just kind of passively. So like as you go about your day, as long as you're not distracted, you kind of passively perceive things at a 13, if that makes Uh, sense. So if somebody tried to sneak up on you, they would need to roll higher than a 13. Wow. Sneak? Of course, if you're not distracted by other things, or if you can, like if you don't have dark vision, if you can't see, then that wouldn't matter either. Got it. Cool. Um, Okay. um, Let me go through. Let's see. 
Adri, was there something that you wanted to do in this room? Um, I probably would just like look around, like see, like how Berzik's looking around. I'd probably just be trying to help and see if there is anything. But if if we're, it's not gonna take us ten minutes. So if we don't find anything, I'd probably just sit down. Okay, so uh, I'll allow you guys to make like investigation checks if you haven't already made one. Um, I'm gonna do my. Um, or if you want to do something else. I'm gonna do my perception check for smell again. Okay. Go ahead and do that roll. Okay. Smell any other corpses nearby? Gross. So I do, I do it twice, right? You said. Yeah, you have advantage. What? Three. <laughs> Hopefully the next one's better. I Worse. Even see that, Andrew. That's terrible. Yeah. Um, you don't smell anything other than the dust um, in the room. And you're smelling and you your friends. friends. And then your friends. You smell your friends. Hey. Well, are we friends? Who knows? Your companions. Wow. Oh. Uh, Lexi, Patrick, did you guys want to do investigation checks or try to do anything else? Or Lexi, you're casting Detect Magic. Patrick, did no. you want to do anything? No, I really don't have anything specific I want to do. Um, watching everyone else. And then, Adri, did you want to go ahead and roll uh, an investigation check for me, too? Sure. If you're kind of searching around. Oh. <laughs> I know everything. <laughs> she made up for her stealth check. <laughs> All right, Adri, as you are searching, you are kind of... If you've got um, Andrew's looking at the walls and you've got Lexi kind of doing a chanting, trying to um, get her detect magic spell up and working, you are kind of looking at the tiles on the ground and you notice that one of the tiles um, seems to have like an outline, like it could be dug up. Mm. And you go and you kind of take, uh, do you have a dagger or something? Yeah, I've got two daggers. You take a dagger and you kind of use it to shimmy in between the cracks and lift up this tile. Mm -hmm. And beneath the tile, you see a, a lever. Oh, oh. I'm going to like look oh, up. Shit. I'm going to be like, I'm going to look up and say how many gold pieces to pull it. <laughs> I think, I think it, I think, do I notice this? Did you like tell us you found a lever? Yeah, literally, that's probably what I'd say. I'd be like, how many gold pieces to pull it? <laughs> like, dare me. Uh, however many would stop you until... Um, yeah, we need to wait <laughs> and if there's any magic in this room. That's no fun. <laughs> I'm just like BDI staring. I just don't want to die. I'm thinking about my chaotic nature, and I'm really wanting to pull it. <laughs> if you're to do it, go for it. I think I'm <laughs> her because I I'm pretty sure she's just gonna do it. <laughs> like watching her, like shaking my head and just like staring at her intently. That's what I got my BDI stare going on. I'm gonna pull it. Uh, <laughs> all right. Before I tell you guys what happens, can I? Can you guys tell me where in the room you guys are? Uh, uh, near Demaya. Because okay. I walked over when she said she found it. Okay, so the I... lever is on like the far end of the wall, or like, the far end of the room. So like, if the entrance is on one side, then the lever was on the other side. Okay, because I'm in the middle of the room. Okay, so you're in the middle. Okay, uh, Adri, you're on that side. Andrew, what side were you on? Uh... I mean, I think I'd probably be, I'd be pretty close to them, honestly, because I, but I'm just like searching along the wall. So maybe I'm like, I'm, maybe I'm like, uh, at the, basically like the far left corner, but like at where it meets that other wall. So I'm pretty close. Close to Demaya? Yeah, close to Demaya. Okay. And, and then Moash, where did you, you were, where you were over by the pickaxe? Genuinely asking. Well, I, I said I'd walked over to, uh, Demaya whenever, like, let us know that she found the lever. Lexi, like, like, probably only like five minutes have passed, so you are not finished with the spell for sure. Um, all right, so, and Halt, where are you located? 
Boy, just like hanging out like the middle of the room. All right. So, as Demaya, okay. I'm sorry, Dazzle. Where were you? I'm like <laughs> not far from the entrance. Okay. So as um, Demaya pulls the lever, you guys hear a click. Pull the lever, Kronk. Um, and then you feel a shifting in the ground. Oh and no. Essentially, what happens is um, this, uh, the whole floor pivots, tilting to a 45 degree angle. Sweet. So headed, um, facing the wall that the lever is, was nearest. So, so basically the end where the entrance is lifts up. And then the end where the lever is falls down. Okay. Um, revealing a chute like, like a hole in the wall that's like person sized. Okay. okay. That ha- is like a slide, basically, a slide or a chute. Sick. Are we all sliding down this? Well, I was holding and- on to the lever. <laughs> um, yes. So you all begin to fall. If everyone could go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw for me. Sure, yeah, brother. Sick, bro. <laughs> okay, who made the nat 20? I did. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Lexi got a one. Oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> Dude. I'm about to watch all you suckers just fly down that chute and laugh like a crazy person. <laughs> 16, hell yeah. I got 17. Okay, so here's what happens. You all fall um, into this uh, chute. It kind of funnels where you all kind of have to go into the chute. And then Lexi rolled a one, so like her feet completely like slip out from under her. And she's going to whack right into Demaya, who was holding <laughs> on to the lever. So you're all you're all falling. <laughs> That's amazing. You yeah. guys only fall for about, and it's a shoot, so it's not like a fall, it's like a slide. So you're at an angle. Um, so you slide down this slide all the way down um, uh, the shoot. And Lexi, can you roll a d4 for me? And uh, Gabe, can you also roll a d4 for me? Oh, <laughs> that's... Um, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna take whatever you rolled in uh, falling damage. <laughs> but the rest of us, or does everyone take? No, just those two because they failed the deck save. Ah, uh, fucking losers. <laughs> So you kind of hit your head or you bang yourself up or something. Everyone else was able to like keep their wits about them. In yeah. fact, uh, Dazzle, you were the last one to fall because you were at the top. You fall directly on top of Moash. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a giant weasel lands in your lap. Yeah. Better than a giant gold dragon landing. On you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. All right, so after you fall into this room, or fall down, you find yourselves in, in a, a much larger room. Um, and this room has a large door on the far side. That um, There is a hallway, a kind of open hallway to the right, and an open hallway to the left. Where did you say the door was? I'm sorry. A very large door in the very front of, or like on the far side of the room. Okay. And then there's a pathway to both sides. There's a pathway, like, in. so basically on the right-hand wall, there's a hallway, and on the left-hand wall, there's a hallway. In uh, the corner of the room, um, those of you who can see, there is uh, a skeleton. LOL. uh, Spooky. On the ground. Or like in a sitting position, leaned up in, in the corner of the room. Can <laughs> I go investigate? Hey, Chris. Yeah. I still have my torch. Oh, shit. Um, you don't need more. <laughs> your torch went out. I have a tinderbox. Oh. I can relight it. Okay. 
I tight. I do that. Um, <laughs> I'm riding like my chaotic high. Can I like walk over and like shake the skeleton's hand, like just to be I stupid? Think, I think Halt said he wanted to investigate it first. Oh, okay. <laughs> So roll an investigation check on it. You walk up to it and ro- roll an investigation check. I'm due for a bad roll, so... Skelly. There oh. we go. A four. When you say it. <laughs> I've been taking yeah, all the um, 20s. You walk up to it, it's kind of hunched over, sitting, like hunched over. You think, oh, that's a skeleton. <laughs> and then you walk back. Dead man. Okay. <laughs> And uh, Demaya, what were you wanting to do? I, I just wanted to shake its hand. <laughs> so you can't, like, its hands aren't accessible. They're kind of, like, in its lap, and its head is hunched over, so you'd have to, like, pull on the arm. That would probably happen. You want to do that? Yeah, that would probably happen. <laughs> okay, so as you pull on the arm, um, you actually, like, in the hand was a small blue orb. Oh, my God! Why? <laughs> You pull on the arm, the orb, like, kind of flies out of its hand, um, and it kind of goes rolling across the room. Sweet. And then you, you feel another hand grab your hand, and oh. then you look up, and the skeleton has now become animated. Oh, bet. <laughs> I, I'm having a great time. Demaya is just having the time of her life. <laughs> All right, so... Um, it's just one skelly. One skelly. Go ahead and roll an initiative for me. Okay. One skelly. <laughs> Dude, I love this. I'm just I'm literally just running around trying to cause chaos and I'm succeeding. Just one skelly. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm stealing all the rolls. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, looks like I got a uh, four. It's okay. I'm going to ask you guys in a second what you got. <laughs> All right. Uh, Verzik, you got what? Four. Demaya? 20. Oh. Dazzle? 13. Mary Jane. What was that? 16. A 16. 16. Moash. 15. A 15. 15. They rolled the same. A 16? Yeah. yeah. And then Halt. 10. All right, uh, Demaya, you are up first. Jackson, get out of there. <laughs> um, am I, like, would this be considered, like, grappling? Like, he's holding me, right? Wait, he, his name is Jack. Jack. No, my cat. Jack Skellington. No. My cat is in my desk. Get <laughs> out. Um, uh, no, the skeleton's not grappling you. He just kind of placed his arm he's kind of like grabbing your arm i guess okay um okay yeah i mean i guess oh i did i would probably have my dagger because i used my dagger to mess with the the tile so i'd probably already have it out so i'm probably just gonna go okay. for him with my dagger <clears throat> okay um let's Everyone see knows stabbing the skeleton is very effective you know you don't have many options <laughs> with <laughs> I don't have I don't have that kind of magic. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. I don't even know. I had a dagger. What is the dagger? The dagger has. I was not prepared to like fight a skeleton that grabbed me. <laughs> okay, you want me to roll the hit, right? D twenty plus. Yeah, D twenty, and then it's Three. whatever your. Switch. I think strength. Oh, well, she's gonna hit. And then one D four plus one. Sick. <clears throat> you got a four? Yeah, for damage. Okay.
All right, and then the skeleton's going to go. He's going to pull out a short sword. He's going to let go of your arm and pull out a short sword. Oh, sweet. Jackson, get out of there. Um, and he's going to try to stab you. Stab me. Does a 23 hit? <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> And then he's going to do five points of piercing damage. Okay. Oh, damn. Next is Mary Jane. Sorry. Um, okay, I'm going to cast um, Sacred Flame. Okay. Does he, he makes a dexterity saving throw, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pretty sure it does more damage because it's undead, right? Um... You don't get to know that. Um, <laughs> a 10 does not save, right? Nope. No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so he takes one damage. Whoop. I'm yeah. really helping out, guys. That <laughs> It was like a little baby fireball. Um, so, is there a way? So, like, if I move, am I gonna like? I want to. I want to use Ray of Frost. If I move him, is there a way for me to get a clear shot on him? So, I've been thinking about how we've been running combat, and I think that I'm just gonna make it. Unless I say otherwise, you just roll to hit, and then depending on what you roll, we'll decide on whether or not. Okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like. If you roll, if you roll high enough to hit, that means you've done whatever you need to do to move and hit, right? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I like uh, that. Unless I say like, oh, like it's impossible for you to hit this thing, like, mm -hmm. but we'll just do it that way. Cool. He rolls in that one. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> Dang, a twenty-three. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Cool. That's twenty-eight. Jackson, get down. Meow. Being a turd. Sick. Nailed it. Three? Yep. Nice. It's okay. Dazzle, you're up. Um, <coughs> as, a, as a weasel, I am definitely <coughs> disengaged. Well, you're not engaged. Yeah, that's why, that's why I said disengaged. That's rude, Chris. <laughs> I'm no, not engaged. Mean, like, you're not in the in the like sense of the fight. You're not like engaged with the skeleton. You're like off in the back. So yeah, I'm remaining there. <laughs> yeah, are you gonna pass your turn? What? Are you gonna like pass yeah. your turn? I'm passing my turn. Okay. Weasel's chilling. Oh. She pulled the taco. Sorry. She's good out. She's good out there. <laughs> halt. I'm just going to run up and stab with the sword, I guess, because he's still alive. Stabby stab. And technically he's not alive, but... I was about to say, can you stab, stab a skeleton? How sure you wish? can. You, like, you can cut up his yeah, bones. bones. Cut up his bones. The 12 hit. A 12 does not hit. Oh, well, I miss. <laughs> He's going to skillfully dodge your thrust. And I will say now that Halt, Demaya, and... So it's kind of... He's in a corner, and Halt and Demaya are probably now both right there in the corner with him. It's going to be very hard to get a shot, mm -hmm. a rate shot to hit him. Mm -hmm. Um... And Verzik, it's it's your turn, but um. Uh, uh, you said an orb would flying across the ground. Yes. Yes. I'd probably go for the orb. Okay. Um. Hey, you have dark vision, right? Yeah, I got dark vision. I can see that shit. Oh, Moash, are you holding torch in one hand and then your spellcast yeah. or whatever your? Do you have yeah. to have a spellcasting focus, right? Yeah, I have a staff. You do have you have a staff in one hand and a torch in the other? Yep. I guess the torch in the other. It looks like Gandalf. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you shall not pass. All right, Verzik, go ahead and roll like 
an investigation check. It'll just have a low DC just to make sure you saw where it rolled. Okay. Uh, one. Two. Make sure I saw where it. Hey. Nice. Oh my um, you know the direction it rolled. Time to oh, go yeah. look around in the dark. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna use my turn to go search for the orb. I'm gonna say, yeah, you are searching for it, but you do not find it this turn. Okay, cool. Demaya, it's back up to you. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna. He let go of me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. To draw his sword. Cool. Um. Then, let's see. I have dagger. Let's let's. Do you have a dagger drawn. I do have dagger drawn. Let's let's hit a homie. Let's hit a homie again. We're gonna hit a homie again. D20 plus oh three. Oh, sick. That Demaya's got all the good rolls. I'm time. really, I'm on a roll, man. Demaya's having a great time in this in this little little cave. But she rolls minimum damage. Minimum. All right. Um, the Skelly Boy has, um, you can see, like, his bones are starting to, like, chip. He's lost a finger. Uh, uh, loser. But he is going to take another stab at Demaya. Does a 17 hit? Yes. That's going to be seven points of damage. Okay. And then Mary Jane, you're up. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so dexterity saving throw? Yeah. How big is the radius on Sacred Plant? Is it just like a direct target? Yeah. It's a direct target. Um, oh, because it comes down from above, right? It's not yeah. like moving out of your hand. Uh, does a 12 save? No. no. Okay, then roll that damage. Come on now. Two. Sick. <laughs> damage. You guys what are rolling it, This is just a warm up. We're just warming okay. up right now. All right, Moash, you're up. Okay. Well, so there's, okay, so you said I really, there's no real good way to get a beat on him. So basically, I'm going to run it as if he has, like, half cover. Yeah. So I'm going to add, like, plus two to his AC. So you can but still hit him. Is if you miss, it's going to hit either Demaya. Yeah. So I think knowing that, I'm going to try to, <laughs> um, Berzik hasn't found the orb yet, right? No. I'm going to try to help him find it. Okay. Are you going to, like, do the help action, or are you going to, like, actually I'm, search for help? Yeah, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the help action. Like, I'm going to just help him look for it, like, not look, look for it necessarily on my own. Okay. All right, then, uh, Dazzle, you're up. Okay, so, um, Berzik is at the orb. What happened with that again? He's looking They're for looking it. They're looking for it. it, it <clears throat> whenever Demaya grabbed the arm of the skeleton, there was an orb in his hand, and it went rolling. Yeah. I, I got that. Yeah. Um, Berzik went to look for it. He didn't find it? He's I'm looking for it right now. He searched for it, and Moash just now started to look for it as well. Okay, I would like to also start looking for it. Oh my, everybody's the looking for it. The okay. never thought about it until Berzik mentioned it. <clears throat> Alright, well, I guess you guys are both taking the help action, so on Berzik's turn, he'll have, like, advantage whenever he Hell tries. yeah. We're, sure. we're finding the shit. Okay, so I'm not rolling anything? Mm -mm. No. Halt, you're up. Help me out here, homie. <laughs> I can hear him talking to his roommate. <laughs> Patrick, you're up. I assume the random dude voices were Adri's brother or dad. Nope, no, not me. Patrick, you're up. <laughs> he's talking about the. He's talking about all the you know the hot TikTok girls that are liking his TikToks. Oh my gosh. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Patrick. Oh, oh, Patrick. No. Nope. Patrick here. 
Earth to Patrick. Wee woo, wee woo. Chris, you could just permanently move him back in the order. <laughs> His phone is next to the computer. I'm here. Oh! Patrick, you're not paying attention. I was in the bathroom. I apologize. <laughs> I heard you talking to your roommates. Well, I was walking out because he walked out. <laughs> okay. And this roommate's in the bathroom. Oh, Anyways. Okay. Help me out here. If we found the little ball yet? No, we no, need to kill a skeleton. I still alive, too. Oh, well, I'm gonna stop the skeleton. Okay. Apologize. Sick. 20 to hit. That hits. Sick. <clears throat> 20 hit. I'd be scared if the 20 didn't hit. Six damage. All right, this skelly uh, crumbles Yay. into a, a, a pile of bones. And you have solved my skeleton puzzle. <laughs> yes, I was going to ask you to say that. <laughs> so, so I guess I'm finding this fucking orb right now. I'm a little hurt. Yeah, I'm hurting. So Andrew, you've, you've found the orb. I'm, I'm grabbing that thing with both hands. It looks, it, it feels, it looks, to, it seems like something that would be magic and Verzik wants to, Verzik fucks with that. It's about the size of a golf ball. I'm going for it. I'm it's holding it in one hand. <clears throat> I'm hurting. Blue? Did you say what color did you say it was? Blue. It is blue. Oh, is this, uh, can I do an arcana check on it? Sure. Uh, does it, is it, when you, are you trying to describe it in a way that I would know that it was one of these stones that we had just seen in the past? I didn't write the description down for the stones, the, the Omlar gems. Um, you've seen an Omlar gem. And, and this is not it. It's not it. Okay. Just making sure. MJ. Uh, so I'll do an Arcana, which is <clears throat> nice because I have a plus four. 23. Okay. Um, you don't particularly know that this is magical inherently because I was, if I'm, I guess explain to me, Arcana check doesn't necessarily mean that you automatically know if something's magic, right? No. Here, let me look what an Arcana check. It says, your intelligence Arcana check measures your ability to recall lore about spells, magic items, eldritch symbols, magical traditions. So basically, I was, my assumption, my character assumed it was magic just because like an undead skeleton was holding it. So I'm, I I think I just assumed it was magic and then I was yeah. checking to see if I know what, would know what it was from like my you know, reading uh, magic, magic for Dummies. Um, okay, so you don't know if this is inherently magical, but with that good of an Arcana check, then you know that this is, a, is fashioned from a type of gem or stone that could be enchanted. Okay, so this is possibly... Yeah, cool. Awesome. Right, so it has the capacity to um, be enchanted. You could, yeah, you could make this stone magic. Yeah. Well, I would probably tell people about that. I would probably tell people, like, this gem looks like it It could be used for, uh, you know, storing magical powers or whatever. All right, what does everyone else want to do? Uh, we'll start with Demaya. Um, I'm hurting. I'm probably going to ask MJ if she can give me a little bit of that heal, that healing good good. Yeah. I, I definitely got you. Um, I'm going to cast Cure, cure Wounds. Someone write to cast. So I'm going to walk over and grab you. And... Okay. Whoa. Cute. Go ahead and roll that for me. As you do that, Moash, let me know what you're doing. Um, I want to make a, yeah, I want to make a perception check to see if I can hear, um, like, anything coming from the other uh, tunnels or, like, anything around us. Um, okay, make that check, and then Dazzle, what do you want to do? Um, so, the room we're in now, is there, like, another hallway, I'm assuming? There's a hallway to the on the right side of the room, there's a hallway on the left side of the room, and there's a giant door um, on the opposite side of the room from where you guys fell. Um, okay, I'm gonna do my perception check again for hearing and smell. 
Okay. And Demaya, it looks like you healed seven points. Uh, Gabe, you don't. You did a perception check, right? Yeah. Um, you don't perceive anything okay. other than what the party is doing here. Uh, while Dazzle's making those rolls, Halt, was there anything you wanted to do? No, they pretty much did the whole things I would have done. Um, Dazzle, with an 18 perception check, you're trying to hear for sounds, right? Yeah, or smell. Smells. You, um... Hold on. Um, no, you don't particularly hear or smell anything out of the ordinary. That that wouldn't make sense for the situation you're in right now. Okay. Smell some, some dank, some dark, dank cave. Also, Chris, I rolled a seven. We got it. Yeah, to heal for Demaya, right? Yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah. Okay. Neat. T-Y, T-Y. Was there anything else you wanted to do? Uh, I think I'm good. In this room? Is the is the door like is it just like a wooden door or is there like stuff on it? It's like a giant like wooden door with metal bands. If you'd like to make an investigation check on the door you can. Is that yeah. the door yeah. is like one is the one thing that we can go through, right? There's not like a tunnel. No, well, there are. There are two yeah, two hallways. Of, of the room and a door. We got three options again. I probably thought that the door first would be Verzik's pick. Doing great. <laughs> um, well, it's not that difficult to see that Ooh. on this door. Um... Oh, I lost my thought. Sorry. On the door, there's like three little inlets that would, and each inlet looks like it would hold something small and round. Okay, so I'm going to put a... Uh... I'm gonna try the orb I have in all in the three different holes and see if it like clicks into place. Okay. Um, in front of each inlet, there is a little uh, character. Does anybody? Oh, I guess Dazzle. You speak Draconic. I do too, I do actually. Anybody else speak Draconic? I do. I do. I do. All right. Three people speak Draconic. Yep. But right. I'm not the idiot, so he probably see. Um, well, if somebody else goes up to read, then um, it will read, uh, one will read water, one would read fire, and the other will read earth. So mine's a, mine's a blue orb, right? Yes. So I'd put that in the water. It glows. Perfect. Uh, I'd say, i just tell the group, looks like we need to find two more orbs. Uh, and I'll be door. betting betting my bottom dollar <laughs> that it's to the right and to the left. <laughs> hey, Chris, I'm going to take the orb back out and keep it with us for safekeeping. Okay. Assuming, it out of the, assuming it doesn't like lock in place. It doesn't. You can pull it back out and the, it stops glowing. Cool. I'll just, I'll just show the group that I'm like putting it in my... I'm keeping it safe. Okay. okay. And let's go fucking get some fire and, uh, what was that? Earth. Or Earth. Sorry. Like, I hope you know that Moash 100% thinks that you're just, like, waiting to pull, like, a sleight of hand trick with it. That's why you're keeping it. <laughs> For sure. I, I want to shoot some marbles. <laughs> shoot some marbles? Okay, but after this is all done... I think it's a shoot some ladder. Shoot some marbles. I want to do the marble game where you, like, bet people marbles and knock them out of... A circle. Yes. I think that's called marbles. But you said shoot some mar shoots some marbles, and I was like, oh, I think it's called shoots and ladders. But it was <laughs> no, no, I, I got it, Chris. I just didn't okay. give you the satisfaction of. All right. Um. Cool. <laughs> um. All right. So you guys have <laughs> two other hallways that you could try to go down. The right or left. The, you said that it's fire, and what was the other one? Was it wind? Earth. Or earth. earth. Cool. Well, do we feel like heat radiating from either direction? Like if I walk, can I make a, it, I guess, what would it be to see if I could feel like one tunnel was hotter than the other? Mm. 
I mean, obviously, I don't know if this is like a challenge sort of thing, like a fire thing, you know, or thing, but. I am resistant to fire, so I'm going to be ready. My demon blood. Hello? Yeah. Okay, have you guys decided which hallway you guys want to go down? Are we all going down the same one? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like, Split the party. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right or left? <laughs> right. 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 All righty. Let's right. go right. So you all go down the right hallway. Oh, yeah. At this point, Chris, I, would you say probably 45, 50 minutes has passed since we've... Yeah, been it's probably been like 50 minutes, so you don't have that much time left. All right, I got 10 more minutes as a weasel, guys. <laughs> she, she squeaks that out in weasel. She's like... Ew. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys start walking down the right hallway. Mm -hmm. Correct? Oh, cool. Yes. We, picked, we picked right then. Oh, Somebody yeah. said right. Yeah, I we did. Right. We did. Okay. Um, Patrick, are you still there? He's muted, oh. so. Yes, I am. All right. Who's going to be in the lead? Not me. Um, I already got my, I got my shit rocked. I learned my me, lesson. Me and Dazzle. Not okay. really, no, because I have like a sense that it's gonna be soon that I'm gonna freaking turn back into a dragon. Oh. <clears throat> I'll be in front then. Okay. So you guys are making Yes. I'm gonna cast Wait, are you trying to be stealthy or no? I mean, we just made a, a shit ton of noise. <laughs> That's true. Andrew, what are you trying to do? I'm casting Mage Armor. I just let it out. Okay. How long does Mage Armor last? Uh, I believe it's an hour. Eight hours. Eight hours, yeah. I'm okay. chilling. All right, so you guys start making your way down the right pathway, or the right hallway. Um, yeah. uh, so um, it's a long hallway, and it kind of curves toward the right, kind of slightly curves toward the right. And as you guys walk, um, you see that there is a set of uh, three braziers on the left side wall. Um, Is it bras? Bra braziers, like the, the, the. Yeah, yeah, it's a. It holds the fire in it. It's like a what? lighting source. Oh, I was picturing, like, I thought you were Not trying to. Not this beer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what I thought you were saying. I was like, what? <laughs> no. Why are there broads uh, on the wall? <laughs> no, uh, if you guys um, keep walking, then on the left side, you will find um, three more braziers on the wall. Hey, Gabe, do you have your torch? I do. I do have to try. You want to try lighting these bad boys? Yeah. I thought yeah, the torch was out. No, I relit it with my Tinder box. Uh, I can hear Lexi lighting something up as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. The torch. Okay, so what's happening? Gabe is going to use his torch to uh, light the, the brasiers. The brasiers. Oh, the you like bras? The bras. Um, okay, so if you light those, um, and then you keep walking... Uh, you actually find yourself back in the first room. Hey. Chris, um, did you say, um, so there, was there six brassiers in total? Like three on the left, three on the right? No. You went and you passed three on the left, and then you kept going, and then you passed three on the left. And those you lit, and then you found yourself back in the first room. However, okay. the first room, it looks the exact same, except now there is a lever in oh. the middle of the room. I immediately look at Demaya. Wait, 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 wait. So we walked through and it looks like the the room that like has the door that we put the orb in? Yeah, except the orb's not in there. Has Andrew it. But there's a lever in the middle of the room? Yes, in the center of the room. Oh, Demaya, it's time. Don't pull it. <laughs> Is anyone going to stop me? Because if not, I'm probably going <laughs> to... 
She don't pull it up well, so. I'm going to pull it. Yelling. Don't pull it. I'm going to pull it. Bears are going to stay in the hallway. <laughs> Somebody's going to pull it? Yeah, I think Paul Bears Don't Bear's pull it. it. Unless they stop me physically, I'm going to pull that lever. <laughs> All right. So you pull the lever. <laughs> and uh, a trap door opens from the ceiling. The ceiling? Uh, directly above you. Uh-huh. And down falls a small red orb. Oh, oh, sick. Can I catch it? Uh, roll a dexterity check. Okay. Um, what's mine? Plus three. Uh-oh. Oh, I mean, okay. Uh, you, like, it, you, it's, like, right on your fingertip, but then it falls to the ground. But it Sad. doesn't shatter anything. You can pick it up. Okay, I'll pick it up. We, uh, I ask, we try that in the door and make sure it glows, make sure it's not like a, make sure it's the right form that we're looking for in the fire hole. Yeah, I picked it up and I also try to put it in the door where it says fire. Yep, it light, it glows. Sick. I thought that was going to be harder, but I think I didn't describe it well enough for it to be hard. <laughs> it was a puzzle to like the second set of things, but not the first. Well, it was one set of things. It was like a loop. Oh, I see. But you only looped around twice. So. Yeah. Chris, can we, uh... Hit, or Do you leave it in the door? Um, would you guys rather uh, me keep all the orbs, or would you want to spread them out? I'd, I'll, I'll hold on to it. I'm fine. I'll okay. take it back out and hold it. She's got the fire orb, I got the water orb. Let's go get the fucking wind orb. To the left. To the left, the to the orb. left. Okay. Um, as you guys walk down the hallway to the left, uh, you start to see, like, lots more sand. Sand. Um, like, on the ground. Um, and then eventually you come into a fairly large room that seems to be built by, like, large sandstones. Um, kind of feels like you're in a desert temple of some sort. Um, there's, like, an incredibly massive, uh golden chandelier hanging from the middle of the ceiling um it's actually casting light throughout the room uh from old candles um there are runes inscribed along the top of the wall circling around the room um uh can somebody does somebody want to um roll I guess roll an intelligence check for me. Hmm. I am but some um, an angel. So I have negative four. All right, <laughs> so well, I'll do it. Chris, I would do it. I got a plus three. I'm really... Then go for it. Okay, well, uh, also, so the, the floor is covered with fine sand. On the far side of the room, there's, an, uh, there's a door... Um, bearing a lavish depiction of an artist using a paintbrush as a spear to throw at a very large bird. Um, there are sunshine rays sprawling from the, uh, from the tip of the paintbrush. In the middle of the room, there's an altar that sits beneath uh, the chandelier um, mm-hmm. with leather hide on it with an inscription um, that is also in these runes. Um, if whoever's going to make that intelligence check needs to know Draconic, then oh, then he's not fine. Me. I know Draconic. I can do it. D20. You said intelligence, right? Yes. Swag. Nice. Okay. So you read the runes. So basically there's, it's written in Draconic, but there is a different kind of way because to write like storytelling mm-hmm. um, is a different way of writing. So you'd have to be like a little more versed in the language to understand because they use kind of different runes. It's similar in like um, Asian um, languages. This is like a real thing. They use different kinds of like kanji symbols when they're telling stories. Correct. Um, so your intelligence score is high enough for you to be able to decipher what this um, says. And basically, um, the symbols are telling the story of an ancient artisan and mage named Dalti who used to famously paint and create great works of art, uh, but using his own blood. Uh, he was a blood mage. Um, but 
Um, one day he was found ripped in half in his own chambers while working on his magnum opus, a painting of a large rock named Bururu, um, which, for those of you who don't know, a rock is a fantasy creature that is basically a ginormous bird. Yeah. Um, and the altar, uh, where, where the inscription on the altar reads, use your head to paint me red, inside of thee re- resides your key. Shit, say that one more time. Adrian, you need to tell yourself. Say it again. It says, use your head to paint me red. Inside of thee resides your key. Cut yourself, Adrian. (laughs) Do you say that to me? (laughs) Cut yourself. (laughs) Just just headbutt it really hard. (laughs) I mean, it says, use your head. Do I have to cut my head, do you think? Is it that literal? I mean, you just cut blood from your cheek. They said it was working on his magnus opus, so he might be looking for special blood from your head. I have no idea. Just try it. All right. I'll, I have my dagger, so I'll nick myself and Do it. and rub a little blood on homie. Pour one out. Am I right? Uh, pour one out. Okay, so if you're going to cut yourself, I need you to roll a constitution uh, saving throw. Constitution. Okay. I have nothing for that, so shit. And then prepare to fight a giant bird. Or a giant uh, bird. A three. Um, so you cut yourself a little deep, um, and That's you're feeling a little weak from blood loss. Um, so you're going to suffer a level of exhaustion. Well, damn. Which I need to remember what that does. Same, please remind me. Is it just disadvantage? I was just saying, you're the only one who did ex- <laughs> who's ever had to deal with it. I feel like I know, right? From my barbarian days. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just disadvantage on rolls. What level is disadvantage on ability? Checks? Ability checks. Okay. Okay. So, all right, but as soon as blood hits, um. It's that leather, or it's like leather parchment. Um, oh, wait, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so as soon as it hits that parchment, um, you hear from behind you guys, from the way you came in, um, you see a figure come into the room. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. And I need to. I'm like the suspense is killing me, Chris. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to pull something up. All right, and uh, this figure looks alarmingly like Demaya. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> so can you guys go ahead and roll inside and then... of the Demaya? Perfect. Oh no! Hey, at this point, um, can I say has it been an hour? Yeah. yeah, I'm going to say it's been an hour now. Are we rolling oh, initiative? Um, uh, just so you know, if you ever wanted to change back, you can do that. You don't have to wait the whole hour. I just wanted to, like... Be a weasel. To We're rolling initiative, right? All right, so... Um, I need... Are your... we initiative? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm glad we didn't uh, send Halt to roll this. We don't want to fight the warrior. Halt is what's your initiative? 15. Verzik? 12. MJ? 6. <laughs> I cannot roll a high number to save my life tonight. Yeah, Dazzle. Uh, Dazzle got a 9. 1. Moash? 12. Who am I missing? Me. I got a 12. The real me, not the phantom me. (laughs) This girl, did she just walk in the room behind us? Yes. Um, So between Demaya, Moash, and Verzik, you guys can decide who will go in what order. I would probably go last. 
Okay, so you're least likely to attack yourself, is what you're saying? Uh, yeah, also because I'm exhausted. Yeah, good point. Game, do you hear? Uh, I'll let you go first. Uh, okay. So it's Verzik, then Moash, and then Demaya, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, so first in the order is Halt. <laughs> Does it, like, do anything or say anything? Is it, like... Nope. But it has, uh, drawn... It has... Let's see. It has drawn a... A... Are you looking for my shit? I have a bow and arrow. <laughs> it has a mace and a shield drawn. Oh, shit. <laughs> so it's, like, coming in, like... I'm about to attack us. It's, it's my, uh, it's me. I know everything it has. <laughs> it. Oh. Well then, I'm gonna look at them and be like, hey, do we attack? Like, what's up? Yeah, fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> I run at the new Demaya and go to hit her, I guess. I mean, we clearly know it's not actually me. Yes, but... A 14. Um, a 14 hits. Someone replies to Maya. 12 damage. <laughs> what are you hitting with? Amazing. My two handed sword. I don't have my shield out. <laughs> One D10 uh, plus five. Holy fuck. It's going to be easy, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing it wasn't me, because I my character has burning hands, so a high initiative roll would could have gone badly. Okay. Um next is uh Verzik. So my AC is sixteen to the eighteen. Next okay. So we're gonna ray across the classic. All right. That's uh one D ten plus four. Well it's gonna roll the hit first. Yeah, one D ten or one D twenty plus four. Thirteen. Uh, that does not hit. Oh, her AC is 13? 14. Oh, oh 14. because it has the Game shield region. out. Uh, Moash, you're up. Verzik trying to cast... Seeing Verzik try to cast Ray of Frost, I'm going to step up and try to do the same thing, but better. Yeah, one-upmanship, am I right? I'm better. You're not shooting ice cubes. Okay. I mean, a 13. Yeah. Thirteen's not a bad roll. Well, holy shit, Gabe. <laughs> Sorry, that was better. Gabe, how do you have a plus six and I only have a plus four? I got a lot of trees, Mo. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's your, what's your, what's your chorizo? What's your chorizo? Oh. oh man, I mean, <laughs> Amazing. At least, at least I hit him. You, like, hit what? really good, but it was, like, a tiny little ray. <laughs> my, uh, my charisma's plus four, Andrew. All right. Jesus. Maya, you are up. The real me or the fake me? You, you. Oh, Mimi? Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I feel a little twisted attacking myself. <laughs> um, but you know what? When's the, when's the next opportunity you ever get to fight yourself? So I'm just going to draw my bow and arrow and go for it. Uh, okay. Yeah, why not? Let's just shoot myself. All right, let's do it. Let's see if I can hit myself. Plus five. Oh, I can't even hit myself. It's like nope. the the like inner me is like in turmoil. I'm like, dang, like you can't take such an incredible person out of this world. <laughs> is that what's happening? What? Who else would pull all the levers? <laughs> exactly. What would you do without me? <laughs> Sudden action. All right. So the figure, the fake Demaya, is going to try to hit Halt with the mace. Uh -oh, but look before out. it does that, it is going to, um, you're going to, uh, it's going to mutter something. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Um, and then Halt is going to shine and then dim. And then now it's going to make its attack. Hold up, what did it do? 
Did you mark the target, Adrian? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> you'll be all right. You'll be fine. If you kill her quick, you'll be fine. What's your AC? If you rolled a 17, we could a 16. I don't have to tell you what I rolled. <laughs> the DM. Okay. Is it hit? Oh, yeah. Uh, but you take seven points of damage. All mace right. damage. Alright. Actually, damage? No, just mace damage. I think it's bludgeoning. Oh, bludgeoning, right. Dazzle, you are up. Yeah. Um. So. What I want to do is. Use my. Um, frostbite, I believe. Sure. I was just trying to read it. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I'm trying so to do you like, just like, do I, need I think you have to run up to it, don't you? Because uh, then isn't it a touch no, it's, spell? It's 60 feet. Okay, then roll. Whatever you're supposed to roll. Is it a damage you're supposed to roll to attack? 1d6 damage? No. Um, no. To attack. So, oh, constitution? 14? Is, that what that is says? it a constitution saving throw? It says I'm attack. Uh, next to it, it's on uh, D&D Beyond. It says attack slash save. Constitution 14? Oh, it's a constitution okay. saving throw. 14. Saving throw. Okay. So you have to roll, right? Yes. Uh, if it's a saving throw, then yes, the other person rolls it. Uh, an 11. Sick. We did it. 4, 6. 1d6. Wrecker. Yep. Kill me. Hey! Awesome. So you hit um, this thing with the freezing, I guess it's a uh, frost stuff, um, and it freezes over and then melts, and you see it kind of melt into this red viscous liquid. Yum. Um, and it... Uh, quickly kind of melts into this pool of red liquid that looks like blood um and then it's absorbed and kind of you see it into the sandy floor and then you kind of see it rise up the walls into the runic strip um and then you see the blood on the parchment fade away and then the door opens hey, which door i did that the, like the paintings oh, the open no i i said there was a door okay it has it has a kind of, let's see, it has a depiction on the door. Oh, okay. That has the depiction of the artist with the paintbrush. Gotcha. Uh, all right, yeah, well. <laughs> that, was, that was that. Somebody else lead the way. <laughs> Before we go, can I go check out um, where... Dark Demaya was standing. Dark Demaya. Uh, sure. And uh, right. So we didn't. Oh, hold on. Just make sure that I'm on the same page. So it like melted. Yeah, it kind of. Well, it was frozen, and then it was no longer frozen because that's how Azul killed it, basically. Yeah. And then it basically turned into a pool of blood that was then absorbed by the floor, and then it ran up the walls across the rooms. Okay. Open opened the door for us. Okay, cool. Yeah. Never mind. Didn't work it. My blood has okay. fed the room. What is it? Hey, Demaya, you look like, uh, well, you look like shit. Yeah, I'm looking rough. I'm exhausted. I've been running around pulling all these levers and shaking skeleton hands for you guys. Somebody else lead the way at this point, honestly. Who's the... <laughs> right, I... I'm I'm gonna take my torch and my staff and I'm gonna Gandalf my way through this shit and walk <laughs> through the door. 
Gandalf. Gandalf. <laughs> okay, through the door, uh, it's just a small room, and in that room, there is a small pedestal with a green orb in the middle. I grab. Awesome, you now have a green orb. <laughs> All right. All right, turn around and go back to the door. Let's do this shit. To the door. The big door. To the door. Ho door. To the ho door. Whoa. I didn't realize that was, it was this kind of establishment. Oh. To the door. Like Hodor from the Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, I gotcha. Okay, good. <laughs> you just had flashbacks to the tavern. Yeah, exactly. To the, to the two hoes. Are there, ho- the uh, yeah, are there hoes through this door? <laughs> no. You have to tell me um, it's entrapment. It's entrapment, then. <laughs> <laughs> so it's treason, then. So it's treason. I beg your pardon? Then beg. Okay, so do you guys want to go back the other way to that first room? Yeah. All right, so you guys uh, make your way back to that first room, then nothing else kind of jumps out at you or anything like that. I put the aqua, I put the water orb in the correct slot. I put the green orb in the green, like the spot for it. And I put the red one in. And uh, together two create Captain Planet. I think you're missing wind. Oh, and heart, right? <laughs> No, I don't think you have to have heart. The power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> I have the power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> oh, classic. Sorry, I'm getting a drink. I'll be right back. <laughs> a drink? <laughs> a drink? The uh, cat always tries to trip me. Ugh. She like runs at my feet. Uh, no, it's a LaCroix. All right, we're back. Yeah. All right. So after you insert these orbs into the door, it open. Uh, it kind of creaks and opens down the middle. And like, all the hoes come out. Huh? And all the hoes come out. The strippers come all out dressed come as out. policemen. Um, no. But you do find yourselves uh, face-to-face with a large atrium filled with, like, columns. Um, and on the far side of the wall, or on the far wall, there are some stairs leading to a dais. Um, if you look at the dais closely, uh, you'll find a small black stone orb covered in runes. Um, behind the dais uh, is a door that has all kinds of crazy gears and things on it. Um, but it is a very large room. These columns are probably like... I don't know, two feet wide. Like, they're pretty big. So there's a black orb with draconic runes on it? Uh, no. This one, it's it just says covered in runes. Oh, okay. You guys are not close enough to inspect the runes Gotcha. Yet. Hey, guys, I'm gonna... I gotta peace out. I'm starting to not feel so good. Oh, so okay. you guys finish we, this up. Are we... Uh, I mean, we are we at a pausing point? Yeah. Yeah, same. I Before think this we, is a good pause. Yeah. Good pause. Long rest. Are you happy with that progress, Chris? Is, are we good? Yeah, this is fine. I mean, we're just going at our own pace. Yeah. Solid. Um, uh, Haley, you said long rest. This is not a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm sleeping on the floor. I want to make it abundantly clear. Do not take a long rest. As, as the DM, I have to make sure it's explicitly clear. <laughs> do not get to take a rest right now. I'm just gonna play and sleep on the floor. Mm-hmm. A quick one, a quick nap. No, 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 no. I. Well. Yeah, no, that was a good session. We got some combat. You got some puzzles. You got some. Yeah, I hope you feel better, Andrew. Got an inner ear infection. It's a lot of fun. Oh, oh damn. No. No. It's been real. Yeah, I'm wearing a glitter. So, Gabe, you have a living, walking health pack right next to you. That's <laughs> true. You're right. You're right. Living and breathing. Oh, I was actually uh, like listening to this 
not listening, just watching this YouTube channel about, like, they're giving, like, DM tips, but, like, just, like, D&D tips in general. And um, they're talking about how healing in, in 5e is, like, garbage. It really is. So, like, you're not, as a healer, you are not meant to heal the party throughout a fight. And you're basically there to, like, before and after fights is when yeah. you're good, not during a fight. No, it's really true, though. Yeah, because, like, you don't ever heal that many hit points. Like, you're never going to heal more than what the damage is being done. Yeah, I know. It's, it, you're yeah. not going to all be damage like that. What were you saying? What? I said that always baffled me that, like, it, you're right. Like, I mean, most battles you're in, the damage you take, like, even if you heal someone, you heal one person and they get one more time and all your healing's gone and you spent a spell slot for it. So it's yeah. Like, well, it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, okay, you heal, like, if you use healing word on them, what, yeah. they're healed maybe four, five hit points most? Yeah, exactly. I'm not really sure. And then it's like, if they don't go before like another enemy goes then they're just going to get hit and get down knocked down again so it's kind of like they need to have healing potions on hand so it's so they can get healed back up and then quickly down like a greater potion of healing but healers they also learn a a large amount of like um like uh what's the word like buff what's the word yeah like buff spells yeah yeah, like, there's ways to give like temporary HP. There's ways to like like bless, which can like give you advantage on rolls. Yeah. They also well, can do debuffs. Hopefully, we can all make it next week. Yeah. Yeah, I should yeah, be good. Unless... Honestly, I won't be in Tennessee. I also won't be in Tennessee. <laughs> yeah. Same. Bye, everybody. Also, be in Kentucky. Hey, Hi, Patrick. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at my calendar and it looks like I'm free. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, that should be. I'm pretty sure we'll, we're not. We've kept that. My calendar. <laughs> yeah. As long as you guys let me know in advance too, like that'd be helpful if you guys yeah. are gonna miss it. On Wednesday, yeah. I'm sure you all were not like me, but your taxes are due. <laughs> um. No, I did my taxes in. Literally January. Oh, sure you did. Yeah, I did mine forever ago. <laughs> yeah. You know, you did mine for me. It is what it is. It's done. It is yeah, what I mean, it you is. You got them done, and they're you know honestly, you got them done before the due date. A week before. Due date. Yeah, due date before. means due that day. Well, yeah. When it, comes to tax, when it comes to tax fraud, I'm not real sure. It's not tax fraud. You're just tax evasion. You know, it's not evasion either. You get, you just get a fine. I had to pay ten dollars, by the way. I'm pissed. <laughs> what did you use? I don't. I used H and R Block. I used Credit Karma, bro. Credit Karma does it. H and R Block, and I owed what ten dollars. Credit Karma's free. But I'm mad because I like got a thousand dollar tax return in the past three years. Well, it's like. AJ, it's free if you make under a certain amount of money. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm a teacher, so I will be forever. <laughs> I'll be in that tax bracket for my entire life. <laughs> uh, I think we're in the same tax. Well, I mean, it's not. Brackets aren't the way people think they are. I was going to say, isn't that bracket huge? Yeah, I was say, the, yeah. Isn't the bottom bracket, like, massive unless you're, um, like, actually considered in poverty? Well, so, like, the bottom bracket, quote-unquote, um, everybody pays, so it's, like, um, so it's, like, 9,000-something, I can actually, um, so the way the bracket system works is everybody pays in that, like, bottom bracket, right? Yeah. You're, if you have a, it's after you, uh, it, after you, um, calculated your adjusted taxable salary um that goes towards that first bracket which is that 10 percent bracket so you're paying 10 percent of your earnings on nine thousand your first nine thousand eight hundred seventy five dollars worth of adjusted taxable salary so usually everyone's gonna like most of us are gonna be in that pay that 
$987.50, right? And then the money that you make after that, you get taxed that next bracket, which is the 12% bracket. So that's to $40,000. $125, um, and that's a 12%. And then after that is after 40125 it's a 22%. So that's where the big jump happens. Um, yep. But uh, mind you, this is after your adjusted taxable salary. So your, your adjusted taxable salary is much lower than even your taxable salary, which is lower than your net salary, which is lower than your gross salary. <laughs> My so next year I'm gonna have to pay five percent for state income tax because Kentucky sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Half. But also my cost of living is like half. So yeah, but also don't you get a you get your your federal income tax will be reduced if you pay state income tax. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Because it won't. It'll be. It. It's like you get like a lower. Something or other. I don't know exactly just because I don't have to pay it, but I do know that there are you, – you, you don't get taxed the same when you also have to pay state income tax. I mean, it still sucks because I think you'll end up paying more for sure. Yeah, but. Um, for a second player, she had it set to where I was in Kentucky, and it said I would have owed $1,100, and that's yeah. a big point from $10. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, wow. So I don't know um, what happened there, but I have I have a spreadsheet where I keep track of what I owe and like everything um, that I update monthly because I'm neurotic. <laughs> but um, most of us, I would say, pretty much all of us on this call right here probably take the standard deduction. Yep. Because we don't have enough um, equity or own any assets <laughs> um, or at least enough at least enough to take anything more than the standard deduction. Haley, you might take do you do standard deduction or do you itemize? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I love the honesty. Good job, Haley. Haley was like, this is okay. way past what I have to know. <laughs> the computer does it for me, okay? <laughs> it doesn't, though. You, you, it'll tell you if you're taking the standard deduction or if you're going to itemize. If, if it, it didn't take you very long today, that tells me you probably took the standard deduction because itemizing takes a lot longer. Yeah, no, That's where you like pull out all your receipts, yeah? Yeah, because you have to pull up the receipts. Right? No, I'm, so, very, I'm very grateful that... I started dating Gabe before I really had to enter the real world because he does all that for me now. <laughs> yeah. Now he can never leave me, though. <laughs> I should have just had Actually, you walk me through it. Hmm. But you live and you learn next year. Next year. There's yeah. always next year. Always next yeah. year. What's it, what's it? There's only two things guaranteed in life, death and taxes. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Um, that same yeah. Thing? For those of us who have student loans, though, don't forget that you can um, you can deduct student loan interest paid even if you are taking the standard deduction. So you can take it yeah. on top. Of that. Uh, in 2019, I didn't pay any interest. So mm. in 2019, I paid fifteen hundred dollars worth of interest. Oh, that makes me sick. I will in 2020. In 2020, I haven't been paying interest because they because COVID. You might, oh, yeah, because yeah. COVID. At the beginning of the year, I did, but I'm not paying any interest now. The first three months. Honestly, yeah. yeah. But for April, May, June, I haven't paid interest. I mean, there's no interest until September, I think. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to pay off my yeah. stuff before interest is can come back for me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I'm. I, my car has a higher interest rate than my student loans, also so that, they, I didn't, they, they pay yeah. them faster than my student loans. We're going to we're gonna jump for the night. Yeah, I need to, too. Okay, without yeah. having fun talking about taxes. <laughs> yeah, it's time to it's time to cut this. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Uh, thanks for running it, Chris, as always. As pleasure. always, a pleasure. Uh, definitely let me know if there's stuff that you're not enjoying, you really are enjoying, stuff that you want to explore, or things that you want to do that we haven't gotten to do yet. Um, just let me know. Chris has an outro. Yeah, he does have an outro.
It's got, it's like well, scripted. I want to make sure that everybody's being engaged, and if there's like, if you're not having fun, tell me so that I can adjust so that to make sure that everybody's still having fun because I don't want to be like catering to us to not have, you know, I want to be able to cater to everybody. Yeah. No, well like, I feel like we're doing a good amount of a mix of things, mm-hmm. especially yeah. since I'm still learning. You know, I feel like right. it's nice because I'm getting to like we haven't had any like huge huge battles or anything, you know, so like. These smaller ones are nice for me to learn some, like, combat basics, kind of, you know? Nice. Okay, yeah, for sure. And All good things. I know we didn't get to roleplay much this session. I'm hoping next session we'll get to do more roleplay. I ca- Dang, what do you mean? Session. I had a great time pulling levers oh, and shaking hands. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm trying to, because we're having such short sessions, I, I, it's kind of, I have to alternate yeah. the focus. I enjoyed being a beady eyed weasel. <laughs> the disappointed yeah, beady you know, eyes. <laughs> once you get to some higher levels, you're going to have a lot of fun transforming into some bigger things. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like Drew can be like one of the most fun. Yeah. Not that I've ever played one, but like just from what I've seen. I think it fits me well. <laughs> I. Bye. Bye.